Welcome again to Simon Farms. I'm Dr. Samuel Odomensa, an optometrist by profession and a farmer by passion. Today, I'm going to talk about coconut. Coconut, the botanical name is uh, Cocos nucifera. It's a tropical plant widely grown in the world, especially on the swampy lands and islands and is more dominated in the Asian countries because you know they have the lowlands yes um, beyond that uh, just like any other tree the coconut plant actually has uh, it has the leaves it has the branches it has the flowers it has the stem as well as roots just like any other plant Typically, uh, it starts fruiting between, let's say, one and a half years to seven years. Between one and a half years to seven years. Because, yes, we have types of it. We have the dwarf, we have the tall, and we also have the hybrid. That is when you cross the dwarf and the tall, you get the hybrid. Not too tall, not too short. The dwarf normally comes between one and a half to two and a half years. The hybrid actually starts fruiting around two and a half to three and a half years. And the almighty tall comes between six, seven years. That is why I said normally it starts fruiting one and a half to two uh, to seven years. Just like any other plant, there are some ecological requirements. And for coconut, we are looking at uh, an annual distribution rainfall of 2,000 millimeters to 3,000 millimeters. But for optimal growth and higher yield, 2,000 millimeters is okay. Let's look at the soil types. What types are good for coconut? So, what type of soil do you also require for coconut? We are looking at loamy clay, loamy sandy, loamy soil, sandy, loamy. We are also looking at alluvial, we are looking at laterite. Those are the soil for optimum growth when it comes to coconut. Yes, but among all of them, the best out of the whole is the laterite and the alluvial. In case you don't know laterite soil, is the one they use for building. Those white soil they use for building. Yes. yes. So uh, a pH of four to eight is required for coconut. It doesn't coconut does not require too acidic soil or too basic soil. So if you go get a land and it's too acidic, you have to treat it to conform with a pH of between four to eight. They are the best for coconut. Yes. yes. So now that we are done with the rainfall, what is the best time to plant coconut? So uh, it depends on the soil type enemy. If it's not a marshy land, okay, uh, it's just a normal land, maybe clay soil, uh, loamy clay, loamy sand, and all that. Between mid April to mid June. That is the first season that we can plant coconut. And then the minor season, we are looking at uh, mid-August to late September. That is the minor season that we can plant coconut. Yes. Yes. But for the swampy or the marshy areas, you look at late September, late September. By then, most of the rains would have come and the land would not be so wet. Then it will also give you opportunity to actually plant the coconut. Because the land is already wet. So when it rains and it's more wet and you plant the coconut, the coconut cannot even grow. So you wait for all the major rains and the minor rains will come. And then just, just at the time the rain is about stopping, then you plant on the machine that's too just like any other crop 
there's a special way of planting it. So, for coconut, we have the direct way of planting and the comprehensive way of planting. For the direct method, I think most of us are, uh, are breast with diabetic. Just, you just dig a proportionate hole per the size of the seed or the pot. Then you put it in, then you compact around it. That is the direct method. But there's another method most people don't know, which I have named comprehensive method. Summon farms, we have actually named comprehensive method. Yes, yeah, it's a whole method, including you digging about two feet wide and deep. You are arranging coconut hearts, pottery manure, soil, and some other chemicals in there before you do the planting. We will further elaborate on that in our next video. Yes. yes. So, um, the planting, the type of soil will also inform you the planting method to use. If the land is a swampy land, you can just do direct method. But if the land is not swampy, and you can dig two feet and you wouldn't see any water in the hole then i would recommend you do the comprehensive on any other land apart from swampy lands yes what are some of the uses of coconut in fact this heading if i want to <laughs> actually digest it we would not we, we, in fact, we would not finish this video because it's a whole lot for coconut from top to down from top from the leaves from the branches the stem the inflorescence uh, the roots they all have uses okay they all have uses they all have specific uses so now let's take let's say the leaves and the branches you can even use it to uh, touch your roof you can use it to cover stuff you can use it to cover and children even use it uh, as uh, artifacts Yes. So now let's look at the fruits. Yeah, you can take it in the fresh form. You can also take it in the dry form. And the dry form could be channeled into oil. It could be channeled into charcoal, as in the shell. It could be channeled into charcoal. Uh, you can also get coconut biscuit. You can get coconut bread. You can get coconut flour. You can get coconut milk. You can get coconut sugar. Yes, I didn't tell you. Coconut can also be used for aphrodisia. Yes. Especially. Uh, there's a portion of the water and also the roots that you can use. Yeah, the root is also highly medicinal. It can be used in the treatment of tooth decay. It can be used in the treatment of infertility, among others. The stem, the stem or the trunk can be used as timber. Yes, it can be used as timber. It can be used in even creating a chair, anything, any form. Once it's timber, you know you, you know most of the things you can use timber for okay yes so that is what I can say about the uses for now but in another video we are actually going to go into uh, details mm. guys that is all for today we hope to continue some other time but in case you want to connect us we are on Facebook Instagram Twitter at salmon farms and also the description below don't forget in order to help our channel grow to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you very much salmon farms bye bye